Chelsea. Not yet. You still hasn't signed your budget thing yet, huh? I'm getting desperate. Jane, let me give you some advice. When you deal with Chelsea, you always, always have to remember one important thing. What's that? She's a freak. <laughs> She's not a freak. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Last Christmas, she made a gingerbread house. It was built to code. <laughs> there was a guest gingerbread house in the back. <laughs> okay, maybe she's a little obsessive, but she has built a, a very successful business here. The magazine, the TV show. Great big freakdom, Jane. <laughs> then why are you here? I'm the best food stylist in the world. Chelsea knows it. Here. It's my award-winning chocolate sundae. This ice cream looks delicious. Thank you. It's lard. <laughs> I can recreate any dish for photographic purposes. I use whatever it takes. And chocolate sauce? Looks good. Quick estate motor oil. <laughs> and that's 30 weight if memory serves. Oh, there's my fettuccine Alfredo. Wow, the noodles look real. Oh, they are. How about the sauce? See as weather beater house paint. <laughs> and that's one coat, Jane. Good morning. Oh, maybe we should ask Mr. John. Ask me what? Do you think Chelsea's a freak? No, I don't. I have been designing interiors for Chelsea Stevens for 10 wonderful years, and I believe her to be the apotheosis of taste and style. She's not in yet. She's a freak. <laughs> Let's tell her about the gingerbread house. I already did. It had plumbing. <laughs> Guy and I still talk about it. Guy? That's my life partner. I'm sorry if my frankness shocks you, Jane, but I'm proud of my relationship and I don't hide the fact. I'm fine. Well, I know you've come from the Midwest, so if I do say something that makes you uncomfortable, I hope you'll speak up. Okay, wait. It's no problem. I am an adult. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Jane. It's like I was saying to Guy in the shower this morning as we were lathering up. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Chelsea. This morning before breakfast, while I was restocking my trout pond and milking my goat, I realized how much I wanted to tell all of you how much I appreciate the hard work that you do. But then later, after I was airing out my quilts and making prosciutto jerky, I reminded myself we can always work harder. I guess what I'm trying to say is, be more like me. Oh, and one more thing. In the magazine, on the show, no more kiwi. Kiwi is over. If I could talk to a kiwi, do you know what I'd say? I'd say, get out, get a shave, you're through. <laughs> no kiwi, let's all say it. No, no kiwi. kiwi. Thank you. Oh, and the big news, my divorce becomes final today, so I think we all know what that means. That's right. I made scones. <laughs> Chelsea Stevens, she's the queen of style, it's true. House and garden, Chelsea shows you what to do. You've read her magazine, you've seen her books. Chelsea knows about important things. Like cookery and napkin rings. Chelsea Stevens! Stop, stop the music! What are you doing? I told you we couldn't afford this title sequence, Chelsea. I am running the company now. Well, what do you want to do, just slap our logo over a horn of plenty? No. Everything myself around here. Uh, Francine Messenger called uh, and said thanks for the padlocks. That's Nancy Kissinger. She's thanking me for the gravlocks. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, Franklin Geller called. That's and Frank Langella. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, he needs advice on planning an urban garden. That's herb garden, Terry. <laughs> Breathe, breathe, Terry, breathe. Okay, um, Ken Klein called. Kevin uh, Klein? No. Calvin Klein? No. Kelly Klein. Carol Kane. Carol King. No. Beverly Sills? Yes. Yes. Uh. Hi, Chelsea. Uh, Listen, don't mean to be a bugaboo, but uh, have you had a chance to sign that budget agreement yet? What a darling suit. Oh, uh, thanks. Listen, I, I really need to get that agreement signed. Being put in charge of your office is the first major assignment the company's given me, and I really want to keep Mr. Ferber happy. Well, I'll look at it right away. Got the same purse. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's exactly the same purse. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> I mean, it's the, the, the same purse. It's... That's my purse, isn't it? 
Chelsea, you have my purse. Jane, don't be upset. There's nothing sinister. You're new here. I want to get to know you. You know the old saying, the fastest way to get to know another woman is to look at her purse. <laughs> Here's another old saying. I want my purse back. You have something to hide? No. I'd let you look in my purse. I doubt that. I would. Right. Go ahead. Where is it? At home. <laughs> This is a major invasion of my privacy. Jane, I'd like you to have this. It's a jar of my lovely homemade preserves. I hope you like rhubarb. <laughs> Do you honestly believe giving me a little jar of jam is going to make this okay? Oh, I get it. There's a jam hater in our midst, is there? <laughs> I love jam. I wish I could believe that. Crazy about jam. You do not seem jam friendly to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. You want to look in my purse? You go on ahead. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Well, Pooh, you really know how to take the fun out of things. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, somebody clips coupon. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese from a box? It's filling and inexpensive. I can't argue, Jane, but if that were the only criteria for nourishment, there'd be a lot more recipes for dirt. <laughs> Lip gloss, rouge. I see tweezers. Eyebrows on the march, Jane. Huh? Are we done yet? Oh, Jane. No, Jane. Jane, Jane. Hostess snowballs. <laughs> Do you know the expression, you are what you eat? That bangs in a business suit. This is you, Jane. I think I'll be going now. What's this? Give me that, please. Brother? None of your business. Friend? I'm not telling you. Fiance? No. You paused. Darn. <laughs> What's his name? Why would I tell you? Oh, because I really think you want to talk about it. Mint? Those are mine. <laughs> Look, Chelsea, I really appreciate your trying to be friendly, okay? But I am not going to discuss my personal life with you. He looks like a Paul. This is a job. Doug. It's a job that I take very seriously. Okay. There is a thin Tony, line between business Mike, and personal. Barry, I am a Owen, professional. Fred, I will maintain Charles, a professional. Oh, Steve! <laughs> Steve! <laughs> the man's name is Steve. Are you happy? See, I knew you wanted to talk about it. <laughs> I don't. Chelsea. This is the office. The office is where we discuss office things. My ex-fiancé is not an office thing. Ex-fiancé? Darn! <laughs> what happened? He hit you, didn't he? Bastard! <laughs> this is really inappropriate. I mean, how would you like it if I just waltzed right on in here and, and started asking you about your divorce? Which, by the way, I would, I would never do. I, I know it must have been difficult for you. I hope you're okay. Well, yes, of course I am. My husband didn't give me what I needed. I kicked him out. He was a locks. Back to you. <laughs> Listen to me. I need this agreement signed and on my desk by the end of business today. Jane, I apologize. I, I was wrong to take your purse. <sighs> okay. Just, when you're ready with that, call me. I will come and pick it up. to come you know I was sitting back in Omaha and I just kept thinking Steve this isn't right you and Jane you had something special don't let her throw it away you were the one who ended things I know but then I realized what we had together we walked in parks we watched that sunset that time well maybe we should discuss this yeah we'd better start right in I have to take the first flight back in the morning uh, uh, you need to get that? Uh, let the machine pick it up. Okay. Hi, this is Jane. I'm a New Yorker now, so leave a message or I'll kill you. 
<laughs> Hi, Jane. Chelsea. Yeah. Loved your message. The part about the killing left me cold, but I'm sure that's just me. <laughs> Are you there, Jane? Just... If you're there, please pick up. <laughs> Jane, if you're there and you're not picking up, that would make me feel just awful, so I hope you're not doing that. <laughs> Jane, I'm warning you, you're messing with the wrong lady. Pick up the damn phone. <laughs> Chelsea! I was just, I was, uh, I was down the hall and I just, I ran, oh, oh just let me catch my breath, phew, okay. Ah, there we go, much better. Now, what's up? Really? Uh, oh, that's great. Uh, uh, no, no, that, that's not a problem. Um, sure, oh, I'll see you soon. Uh, Steve, um... This is the woman I work with, and you, you see, she's ready to sign something for me, but I have to bring her a copy. I will be back in two seconds. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? Connecticut. <laughs> Chelsea! Be right down, Jane. Uh, hi there. I'm Earl. Hi, Jane Sokol. I work with Chelsea. Oh, yeah, well, nice to meet you. I'm Miss Chelsea's gardener slash handyman slash spiritual advisor. <laughs> really? Oh. Well, you know, I'm having a little trouble figuring Chelsea out. Maybe you could help me? Tell me what she's really like? Oh, well, of course. Uh, you know, if you've ever been down on a farm, there's always one filly in the barn who's proud, fiery, hard to handle. But then a storm whips out from out of nowhere. Rain, wind, thunder, lightning. And that same filly shivering in the far corner of her stall. Well, Miss Chelsea's a lot like that storm. <laughs> Not that we don't have some fun. I'd like to play this little game with her. I turn over one of the corners of her doilies. When she sees it, she gets all excited. Be down in two seconds, Jane. Well, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, hope to see you again real soon. Have a nice visit. Jane, forgive me, but I was arranging my linens according to thread count, and I lost track of the time. It was so nice that you could come out and visit. Can I get you something to drink? How about a nice mold cider? Oh, no, no, that's OK, really. I'm kind of in a hurry, so if you could just sign this. Oh, boo, hiss, take your coat off, sit down. We can gossip. Oh, boy, that does sound tempting, but uh, really, i got to get home. Steve is waiting for me. Steve? Darn. <laughs> you want to hit you? He didn't hit me. Please, all I need is a quick signature. I know. We can play a game. Oh, I've got a good one. It's called Name Your Favorite Spice. This is what we do. We each name our favorite spice, and then we compare. Okay, I'll go first. Cardamon. <laughs> what? Cardamon. Do you hear yourself? <laughs> what is it with you? I... You live in some strange world of potpourri and... Jam? Do you know that there is a real world out there? A world full of crime and poverty? Chelsea, open your eyes. The world is ugly, Jane. I know that. Believe me. That's why I try to get people to see the beauty of simple things. When we grow our own vegetables, when we bake our own bread. Crime, poverty, in a world that smells of freshly baked bread? I don't think so. <laughs> Do you have any intention of signing this agreement tonight? Well, I did, but I'm not in the mood now. Why not? But you wouldn't tell me your favorite spice. Cardamom. Okay, that did it. Okay. Chelsea, this job means more to me than you will ever know. But if I have to deal with this on a daily basis, well, it's just not worth it. I can't do it. Good night, Chelsea, and goodbye. You're quitting? Why? Why? I will tell you in four words. You are a weirdsmobile. I'm not a weirdsmobile. I'm not. I'm perfectly normal. Who keeps doing this? <laughs> Steve, I'm so hey. sorry. This day has just been crazy. It's OK. Look, it gave me time to figure out what I want to say. Jane, I think you should come back to Omaha. Now, it would be the smart thing to do. You know something? You may be right. I don't think it's going to work out for me here. Yes! Uh, I mean, uh, yes. <laughs> but it's five in the morning. I know. Hello? Hi, it's Chelsea. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, you left your sweater. Well, that's not mine. I didn't think it was. <laughs> You must be Steve. Hi. It's not nice to hit, Steve. <laughs> How 
did you know where I live? I looked in your purse today, silly. I know all sorts of things about you. Jane, I I'm going to marry this apartment. I love it that much. My new name is going to be Mrs. Chelsea Jane's Apartment. <laughs> Look, Steve and I really need to be alone, so if you could... Make hors d'oeuvres? Oh, I'd be glad to over all the ingredients. <laughs> Chelsea, we don't need hors d'oeuvres. Please, please, let me do this. I, I upset you. I'm sorry. I want you to stay. I don't want you to quit. Let me cook something for you. Steve and I need to be alone. Oh, you can be alone. I'll leave you alone. You won't even know I'm here. Here I go. Here I go. Bye. Time to make hors d'oeuvres. I'm disappearing. Bye. Bye. I am so sorry. I... You know what? It's okay. Listen, Jenny, there's another reason that I don't want us to end. It's just, I would worry about you too much. You would worry about me? Come on, I've been a strong influence in your life, and I'm not sure how well you'd get along without me. Ha! <laughs> sorry. I think I would get along fine. It's been almost a week, and I'm doing okay. Look, be honest. The life without me scares you. Okay, I have two comments and one question. Chelsea. Hush, comment one, Jane knows how to take care of herself. Comment two, she does not need a relationship to define herself. Question, where do you keep your melon baller? I don't have one. Parchment paper? No. Nope. Your 13 and a quarter by nine and a quarter by five eighths baking pan? I guess this is what it would be like if I was forced to cook in a Turkish prison. Listen, Jane. You know, we don't even have to discuss this. Now, you're moving back. You made the right decision, sweetie. Ooh, ooh, wait a second. I didn't decide anything. And since we're talking about moving, have you ever considered moving here? No. So what you're really saying is that my life isn't as important as yours. No, that's what you're saying. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's what I'm hearing okay. you okay. say. Okay, all right. Oh, wait, wait, no, let's everybody calm down, please. I'm, I'm going to tell you both a story, and I hope that you can figure out the message. <laughs> A couple of years ago, some friends of mine brought their child to my home. I don't know what the hell they were thinking, but that's another story. I took the child on a tour of the grounds, and out behind the compost heap, we came upon a dead bird. I explained the cycle of life and death to the child. I picked the bird up gently and brought it into the house, dipped it in lacquer, and stuck it on a wreath. I'm telling you, it looks incredible. So. What is the point of my story, Mr. I like to hit? I have no idea. Jane knows, don't you, Jane? Yes. When something is dead, it's dead. You have to accept it. Or put it on a reef. I hope you like Gorgonzola. Back in two shakes. Uh, so what are you saying? I'm saying that it's dead, Steve. Why did you come up here for only one night? Why did I go to Connecticut when I could have stayed and talked to you? Because we both know there's nothing left to say except goodbye. You're making a big mistake, Jane. You're never going to make it here. Oh, you know, you might make it here, but what kind of success will that be? I'll tell you. A hollow, Steveless success. <laughs> Jane, uh, I know that was difficult, but I'm proud of you. I, I, I think you did the right thing. You're not going to quit, are you? I don't know. Because I really don't want you to. Why, Chelsea? I don't get it. But because you said that you hoped I was okay about my divorce. You're the only person who said anything like that. You're nice. You, you care about people. How do you do that? <laughs> Guess I've just really enjoyed the meaningful conversations we've had. We haven't had any meaningful conversations. Honestly, I don't even think you know how to have one. I could try. Really? Oh, okay, great. Go ahead. Well, anyway. Um, <laughs> it's late. Oh my gosh, we're going to see each other in the office in less than three hours. Can you believe it? I put the rest of the hors d'oeuvres in the fridge. Oh, I hope you don't mind. I cleaned your oven. <laughs> don't go away. Style and Substance will be right back. Come in. You wanted to see me? Oh, yes. Jane, uh, this is just a little something from me to you. Make up for last night. 
snowballs. <laughs> Didn't have the white ones, huh? <laughs> oh, yes, they did, but you know, it's after Labor Day, and you know the rule. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't think you'll want to throw away that paper. The agreement. You signed it. Well, you asked me to, didn't you? Thank you. So, you're going to stay? I don't know. You know, everyone thinks that I threw my husband out. Didn't you? Yes. <laughs> but only after he told me he was in love with another woman. It was my fault. He loved my cooking, and I loved doing it for him. I'd get started, but I'd find I was missing this ingredient or that ingredient, and I'd send him to the store, and I'd send him, you know, four or five times in the course of a recipe. That's what broke up your marriage? Well, that, and the fact that he fell in love with the checkout girl. <laughs> the checkout girl? Can you believe it? I mean, what could he see in her? It couldn't be the conversation. I mean, after paper or plastic, what else could she say? <laughs> Chelsea, are you lonely? No. Well, maybe a little. It's just, it's hard to imagine, you know? I have all your books. You're always putting together a dinner party for 12. Yes, well, the dinner's not a problem. I just can't seem to find the 12 people anymore. You know, it's hard when you split up and you find out that he's the one that everyone likes. Don't tell anyone. It'd be bad for my image. Ginger. What? Ginger is my favorite spice. I guess you should know that if I'm going to be working here. Oh, Jane, we're going to get along so well. I can just feel it. I mean, you're just like a blank page. I can't wait to scribble all over you. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger, she's insane. <laughs> and Max have a date to remember. Your whole body is covered with blotches. I don't care. I'm going. Or will it be a night they'd rather forget? What's the matter? Oh, new nanny. Then, can a white-collar criminal... America loves ex-cons. Maybe that's just my family. Match wits with Murphy? I'm a little nervous. You took a shower in prison and you're nervous here? Oh, new Murphy. That's nice. <laughs> Snowballs. <laughs> Didn't have the white ones, huh? Oh, yes, they did, but, you know, it's after Labor Day, and you know the rule. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't think you'll want to throw away that paper. The agreement. You signed it. Well, you asked me to, didn't you? Thank you. So, you're going to stay? I don't know. You know, everyone thinks that I threw my husband out. Didn't you? Yes. But uh, only after he told me he was in love with another woman. It was my fault. He loved my cooking, and I loved doing it for him. I'd get started, but I'd find I was missing this ingredient or that ingredient, and I'd send him to the store, and I'd send him, you know, four or five times in the course of a recipe. That's what broke up your marriage? Well, that, and the fact that he fell in love with the checkout girl. <laughs> The checkout girl. Can you believe it? I mean, what could he see in her? It couldn't be the conversation. I mean, after paper or plastic, what else could she say? <laughs> Chelsea, are you lonely? No. Well, maybe a little. It's just, it's hard to imagine, you know? I have all your books. You're always putting together a dinner party for 12. Yes, well, the dinner's not a problem. I just can't seem to find the 12 people anymore. You know, it's hard when you split up and you find out that he's the one that everyone likes. Don't tell anyone. It'd be bad for my image. Ginger. What? 
Ginger is my favorite spice. <laughs> Guess you should know that if I'm going to be working here. Oh, Jane, we're going to get along so well. I can just feel it. I mean, you're just like a blank page. I can't wait to scribble all over you. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger, she's insane. <laughs> and Max have a date to remember. Your whole body is covered with blotches. I don't care. I'm going. Or will it be a night they'd rather forget? What's the matter? All new nanny, then can a white-collar criminal. America loves ex-cons. Maybe that's just my family. Match wits with Murphy? I'm a little nervous. You took a shower in prison and you're nervous here? Friendly to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. You want to look in my purse? You go on ahead. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Well, poo, you really know how to take the fun out of things. <laughs> Somebody clips coupon. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese? From a box? It's filling and inexpensive. I can't argue, Jane, but if that were the only criteria for nourishment, there'd be a lot more recipes for dirt. <laughs> Lip gloss, rouge. I see tweezers. Eyebrows on the march, Jane? Huh? <laughs> Are we done yet? Oh, Jane. No, Jane. Jane, Jane. Hostess snowballs. <laughs> Do you know the expression, you are what you eat? <laughs> At bangs in a business suit, this is you, Jane. I think I'll be going now. What's this? Give me that, please. Brother? None of your business. Friend? I'm not telling you. Can't say? No. You paused. Darn. <laughs> What's his name? Why would I tell you? Oh, because I really think you want to talk about it. Mint? Those are mine. <laughs> Look, Chelsea, I really appreciate you're trying to be friendly, okay? But I am not going to discuss my personal life with you. He looks like a Paul. This is a job. Doug. It's a job that I take very seriously. Look, there is a thin Tony, line between business Mike, and personal. Barry, I am a Owen, professional. Fred, I will maintain Charles, a professional. Oh, Steve! <laughs> Steve! <laughs> Are you happy? See, I knew you wanted to talk about it. I don't. Chelsea, this is the office. The office is where we discuss office things. My ex-fiance is not an office thing. Ex-fiance? Darn! <laughs> what happened? He hit you, didn't he? Bastard! <laughs> this is really inappropriate. I mean, how would you like it if I just waltzed right on in here and, and started asking you about your divorce? Which, by the way, I would, I would never do. I, I know it must have been difficult for you. I hope you're okay. Well, yes, of course I am. My husband didn't give me what I needed. I kicked him out. He was a lox. Back to you. <laughs> Listen to me. I need this agreement signed and on my desk by the end of business today. Jane, I apologize. I, I was wrong to take your purse. Okay. Just when you're ready with that, call me. I will come and pick it up. <laughs> Where are they? This isn't right. You and Jane, you had something special. Don't let her throw it away. You were the one who ended things. I know, but then I realized what we had together. We walked in parks. We watched that sunset that time. Well, maybe we should discuss this. Yeah, we'd better start right in. I have to take the first flight back in the morning. Uh, uh, you need to get that? Uh, let the machine pick it up. Okay. Hi, this is Jane. I'm a New Yorker now, so leave a message or I'll kill you. <laughs> Hi, Jane. Chelsea. Yeah. Loved your message. Part about the killing left me cold, but I'm sure that's just me. Are you there, Jane? If you're there, please pick up. Jane, if you're there and you're not picking up, that would make me feel just awful, so I hope you're not doing that. Jane, I'm warning you, you're messing with the wrong lady. Pick up the damn phone. Chelsea! Oh, hi. I was just, I was, uh, 
I was down the hall and I just, I ran out. Oh, just let me catch my breath. Phew! Okay. <laughs> ah, there we go. Much better. Now, what's up? Really? Uh, oh, that's great. Uh, uh, no, no, that, that's not a problem. Um, sure. Oh, I'll see you soon. Uh, Steve, um, this is the woman I work with, and you, you see she's ready to sign something for me, but I have to bring her a copy. I will be back in two seconds. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? Connecticut. <laughs> Chelsea! Be right down, Jane. Uh, hi there. I'm Earl. Hi, Jane Sokol. I work with Chelsea. Oh, well, nice to meet you. I'm Miss Chelsea's gardener slash handyman slash spiritual advisor. Really? Oh. Well, you know, I'm having a little trouble figuring Chelsea out. Maybe you could help me? Tell me what she's really like? Oh, well, of course. Uh, you know, if you ever been down on a farm, there's always one filly in the barn who's proud, fiery, hard to handle. But then a storm whips out from out of nowhere. Rain, wind, thunder, lightning. And that same filly shivering in the far corner of her stall. Well, Miss Chelsea's a lot like that storm. <laughs> Not that we don't have some fun. I'd like to play this little game with her. I turn over one of the corners of her doilies. When she sees it, she gets all excited. Be down in two seconds, Jane. Well, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, hope to see you again real soon. Have a nice visit. Jane, forgive me, but I was arranging my linens according to thread count, and I lost track of the time. It was so nice that you could come out and visit. Can I get you something to drink? How about a nice mulled cider? Oh, no, no, that's okay, really. I'm kind of in a hurry, so if you could just sign this. Oh, boo, hiss, take your coat off, sit down. We can gossip. Oh, boy, that does sound tempting, but uh, really, i got to get home. Steve is waiting for me. Steve? Darn. <laughs> that's not a problem. Um, sure. Oh, I'll see you soon. Uh, Steve, um... This is the woman I work with, and you, you see, she's ready to sign something for me, but I have to bring her a copy. I will be back in two seconds. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? Connecticut. <laughs> Chelsea! Be right down, Jane. Uh, hi there. I'm Earl. Hi, Jane Sokol. I work with Chelsea. Oh, well, nice to meet you. I'm Miss Chelsea's gardener slash handyman slash spiritual advisor. <laughs> really? Oh. Well, you know, I'm having a little trouble figuring Chelsea out. Maybe you could help me? Tell me what she's really like? Oh, well, of course. Uh, you know, if you've ever been down on a farm, there's always one filly in the barn who's proud, fiery, hard to handle. But then a storm whips out from out of nowhere. Rain, wind, thunder, lightning. And that same filly shivering in the far corner of her stall. Well, Miss Chelsea's a lot like that storm. <laughs> now that we don't have some fun, I'd like to play this little game with her. I turn over one of the corners of her doilies. When she sees it, she gets all excited. Be down in two seconds, Jane. Well, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, hope to see you again real soon. Have a nice visit. Jane, forgive me, but I was arranging my linens according to thread count, and I lost track of the time. It was so nice that you could come out and visit. Can I get you something to drink? How about a nice mulled cider? Oh, no, no, that's okay, really. I'm kind of in a hurry, so if you could just sign this. Oh, boo, hiss, take your coat off, sit down. We can gossip. Oh, boy, that does sound tempting, but uh, really, i got to get home. Steve is waiting for me. Steve? Darn. <laughs> the one who hit you? He didn't hit me. Please, all I need is a quick signature. I know. We can play a game. Oh, I've got a good one. It's called Name Your Favorite Spice. This is what we do. We each name our favorite spice, and then we compare. Okay, I'll go first. Cardamon. <laughs> what? Cardamon. <laughs> do you hear yourself? <laughs> what is it with you? I... You live in some strange world of potpourri and... Jam? Do you know that there is a real world out there? A world full of crime and poverty? Chelsea, open your eyes. The world is ugly, Jane. I know that. Believe me. That's why I try to get people to see the beauty of simple things. When we grow our own vegetables, when we bake our own bread. Crime, poverty, in a world that smells of freshly baked bread? I don't think so. <laughs> Do you have any intention of signing this agreement tonight? Well, I did, but I'm not in the mood now. Why not? But you wouldn't tell me your favorite spice. Cardamom. Okay, that did it. Okay. Chelsea, 
This job means more to me than you will ever know. But if... Steve, um, this is the woman I work with, and you, you see she's ready to sign something for me, but I have to bring her a copy. I will be back in two seconds. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? Connecticut. <laughs> Chelsea! Be right down, Jane. Uh, hi there. I'm Earl. Hi, Jane Sokol. I work with Chelsea. Oh, well, nice to meet you. I'm Miss Chelsea's gardener slash handyman slash spiritual advisor. Really? Oh. Well, you know, I'm having a little trouble figuring Chelsea out. Maybe you could help me? Tell me what she's really like? Oh, well, of course. Uh, you know, have you ever been down on a farm? There's always one filly in the barn who's proud, fiery, hard to handle. But then a storm whips out from out of nowhere. Rain, wind, thunder, lightning. And that same filly shivering in the far corner of her stall. Well, Miss Chelsea's a lot like that storm. <laughs> Not that we don't have some fun. I'd like to play this little game with her. I turn over one of the corners of her doilies. When she sees it, she gets all excited. Be down in two seconds, Jane. Well, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, hope to see you again real soon. Have a nice visit. Jane, forgive me, but I was arranging my linens according to thread count, and I lost track of the time. It was so nice that you could come out and visit. Can I get you something to drink? How about a nice mulled cider? Oh, no, no, that's okay, really. I'm kind of in a hurry, so if you could just sign this. Oh, boo, hiss, take your coat off, sit down. We can gossip. Oh, boy, that does sound tempting, but uh, really, i got to get home. Steve is waiting for me. Steve? Darn. <laughs> you want to hit you? He didn't hit me. Please, all I need is a quick signature. I know. We can play a game. Oh, I've got a good one. It's called Name Your Favorite Spice. This is what we do. We each name our favorite spice, and then we compare. Okay, I'll go first. Cardamon. <laughs> what? Cardamon. Do you hear yourself? <laughs> what is it with you? I... You live in some strange world of potpourri and... Jam? Do you know that there is a real world out there? A world full of crime and poverty? Chelsea, open your eyes. The world is ugly, Jane. I know that. Believe me. That's why I try to get people to see the beauty of simple things. When we grow our own vegetables, when we bake our own bread. Crime, poverty, in a world that smells of freshly baked bread? I don't think so. <laughs> Do you have any intention of signing this agreement tonight? Well, I did, but I'm not in the mood now. Why not? But you wouldn't tell me your favorite spice. Cardamom. Okay, that did it. Okay. Chelsea, this job means more to me than you will ever know. But if I have to deal with this on a daily basis, well, it's just not worth it. I can't.